Welcome back everyone to the greatest show on tube. Today we're going to be cooking some good old hot dogs and uh, right now we're just cranking up this grill. So as you can see I have this uh, aluminum foil set up where the, the third burner is at here. I don't even know why I was about to turn it on there but um, yeah so anyways uh, uh, this is just to catch the baking grease that's going to be dripping right now from the, uh, the hot dogs and of course we're going to be cooking this with uh, indirect, indirect uh, heat so um, that's why I have these uh, heat deflectors set up to the left and um, we want to be uh, cooking these hot dogs at about uh, around like 350 uh, to 400 degrees so right now let's just wrap this these hot dogs in uh, this bacon and many people they choose not to use um, the uh, toothpicks here because um, they say that the uh, the bacon can just uh, hold itself with the uh, the hot dogs but I've I've seen and, and since I've done this before already that it kind of um, it, it it sometimes it, it'll just start like uh, coming apart so I'd just rather do this it's just a, it takes a couple minutes to, to do this and um, oh also I hope you don't mind uh, my I'm a little sick right now so my voice might sound sound a little like Sam Elliott's which would be kind of nice if it was permanent but yes yeah, uh, sorry about that so anyways right now we're gonna be putting these uh, on on the grill here obviously on the far right for indirect cooking and um, uh, later on, we're going to be flipping them over. I mean, it's you don't really have to flip them over, but because it's indirect cooking, and it's it's the heat is all around it, so it's not directly from the bottom. Um, right now, uh, let's get this pico de gallo going. And um, right now, I'm taking out the seeds from the jalapenos, jalapenos, uh, taking the seeds out from the inside. Just I don't know, we, we've we've just done this for forever we don't we don't really ever use the seeds on the inside some people say that's the best part for jalapenos but i don't know we it, to me it's just it's just that's something that i've i've uh, never done before uh, left the seeds in there um but anyway so yeah just uh just slice them and dice them there however way you want the jalapenos and then after that of course the tomato oh yeah the tomatoes so as you can see with the tomatoes right now uh, they have like some parts cut out because these these tomatoes of course they weren't in the tip tip top uh the most perfect condition you can think of but um either way i mean they're still good there wasn't anything wrong with them just a couple of the sides they looked a little a little unappetizing so anyway so yeah so just uh slice them and dice them once again however way you want and uh so yeah let's check on these on these bad boys and as you can see they are uh they're cooking pretty well and um, so right now, if we were to take them off the grill right now, they wouldn't be to my liking because since, I mean, it, it is obviously indirect cooking and it's, it, they look like they're pretty good. If you were to right now to unwrap the bacon, it would look a little, I don't know, it would look still a little bit raw from the inside. So we're going to get them uh, nice and crispy. Uh, you'll, you'll see right now in a minute. And uh, right now we're gonna be uh, doing our chili. So you could obviously get any chili at, at the store. Um, I, I don't make my chili, but I also add beans to them, even though some of them already have beans. More, more, more than likely all of them, they have beans. But uh, I like I like adding more beans to them, so that's that's what I did there. And um, as you can see right now, they are uh, they're pretty crispy. Uh, some of the edges look a little bit burnt, but I mean you can obviously take it off at the end if you want, but. Um, this is this is the way I like uh, to do the hot dogs and um, this also to me ensures that the uh, the hot dog itself and the inside it's it's uh, cooked pretty well so uh, last but not least with uh, preparing this do not forget to toast your buns I cannot stand it when people don't toast their buns whether it be a hamburger uh, uh, a hot dog in this case or anything I don't know I just you gotta toast your your buns you can't just leave them um, untoasted and once you start eating it with all the uh, other stuff you're going to put in there they're going to start getting soggy so of course we're not toasting the inside but um yeah you just just toast your buns it makes it a lot tastier too don't forget safety first turn off your propane All right, so now we're gonna be uh, preparing these hot dogs, and uh, so of course you want to put some mayonnaise in there. Some people don't put mayonnaise. I'm not other people. I'm me. I like mayonnaise, 
not too much but just a little bit of flavor in there and uh don't forget to take out your uh toothpicks if you use them because let's say you're not looking or you ain't paying attention man if you don't if you hit it at the wrong angle oh boy you're gonna be in some pain but uh so anyways yeah right now we're putting this uh this chili on there and of course i was supposed to put the the hot dog first and then put the uh, uh mustard and then the ketchup and then put on the chili but i was a little excited here and just wanted to show you the chili that i did it backwards but i mean either way it's all going down the stomach it's all going to taste the same hopefully and um but yeah so uh once you do that then you're going to add the pico de gallo um and i mean this is this is basically it right here uh i think i had me uh like three of these but uh, once again as you guys know i ate a lot so that's why i was able to munch down some of these uh with ease but yeah here's the finished product now uh, thank you for watching by the way